नमस्कार मी लक्ष्मण पतंगे ज्या बोर्डाच्या परीक्षा घेतल्या जातात त्याच्यामध्ये विद्यार्थ्यांचं मूल्यमापन केलं जातं या मूल्यमापनामुळे विद्यार्थ्यांच्या वरच्या वर्गात जाण्याची तयारी सुरू होत असते विद्यार्थ्यांना आपण किती गुण मिळवू शकतो आपलं मूल्यमापन कोणत्या प्रकारे होत आहे या परीक्षांमुळे त्यांना समजत असतं कारण मूल्यमापनाचा एक योग्य पर्याय म्हणजे या परीक्षा आहेत आपल्या या संपूर्ण महाराष्ट्रामध्ये आणि भारतभर ज्या काही बोर्डाच्या परीक्षा घेतल्या जातात त्या अतिशय चांगल्या पद्धतीनं राबवल्या जातात त्यांचं वेळापत्रक सुनियोजित पद्धतीनं वेळेत घेतलेले पेपर आणि वेगवेगळ्या विषयाच्या अनुषंगानं त्याचं केलेलं नियोजन हे अतिशय सुंदर असतं चांगल्या प्रकारचं असतं क्रमबद्ध असतं they are better to utilize these things in their everyday life sir developing a sense of belongings and togetherness also contribute to the process of learning and growing together everyone contributes their talents and expertise to a project while working on a single platform the atmosphere fosters a sense of belongings to sometimes and something larger and more significant than oneself as a result of individuals can learn to support and depend upon the another which can lead to the increased level of cooperation and framework there is always a symbiosis every particle on the universe is developing with each others and they are contributing and learning for the sake of growth as india is looking towards and saying and giving the mantra of vasudeva kutumbakam all we belongs to a part of this entire universe need to cooperate and learn with each other learning is an ongoing procedure that requires that incorporation of new skills and insights gained from the data i believe that information and skills are acquired via a collaborative efforts between teacher students organizations and society and this nature sir all strengthening relationship via shared growth and development is a potent means of fostering a healthy and productive setting it helps build trust between the person to person community and nature while inspiring new ways of thinking everyone grows more at ease with one another as they learn from us everyone can benefit from this setting since it encourages personal development and new experiences building trust among the people requires doing nothing like learning and growing together everyone is able to feel comfortable expressing themselves and contributing their thoughts and ideas thoughts ideas dedication and hard work build the nation it has been proved by the indians all indians are encouraging themselves on all platforms they are doing excellent work at all levels which is directly a symbol of growth and collaboration and correctness we are looking forward to rule the entire world in coming centuries under your leadership we thank for everything contributed by you and entire every human being on the earth thank you and jai hind hello everyone i am satyajit devdas bodki from class 10c oxford the global school koini nirarun nandi Today I am going to speak on the topic Pariksha Pe Charcha. Pariksha Pe Charcha is an activity that was initiated in the year 2018 by Chief Narendra Modi who serves as the Prime Minister of India. Though the organization of this event is able to engage in conversation with students, professors and parents from all over the country and imparts its insightful perspectives on those school children who are sitting to entrance and board examinations. In addition to this he advises the student who will be taking the exam to keep calm and remain comfortable during the process the participant in this tournament 
are chosen by a competition and the winner will have the opportunity to meet personally with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The Pariksha Pe Charcha is planned to take place in the first month of 2023. Those interested in participating must do so by December 20, 2022. At the location of Pariksha Pe Charcha, teachers are also given the opportunity to share the thoughts of on the academic achievement of the students and may perhaps earn the chance to speak with our Prime Minister. The opinions of parents on how best to prepare their children for IQ exams can also be shared. The Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, gave a speech in which he discussed useful methods to reduce the anxiety that comes when taking exams, as well as to determine one's own potential talents and hobbies and to plan one's career appropriately. He encouraged the parents to refrain from imposing their will and aspirations on their offspring. He encouraged the kids to pay attention to both their abilities and their passions and to pursue their aspiration. Students should just study to pass a test. They should study for the sake of expanding their knowledge. He also addressed the issue of equitable treatment of the sexes. Instead of feeling anxious, students should have self-assurance in their knowledge of the material they have studied. Students need to keep their attention on the information presented in the classroom. Young people are the ones who make new India. The future of the country depends on what they do. This is why Prime Minister Narendra Modi has always talked to young people and tried to understand their hopes, dreams and problems. The Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, participated in an event called Pariksha Pe Charcha. This was an excellent experience for school children from all over the country. Talkotara Stadium in New Delhi served as the location for the event. It was the third time the PM engaged in a discussion with the kids during the session. The event was not prepared for until a significant amount of time in advance as online essay writing competition was held by the Ministry of Human Resource Development HRD on the following issues. Gratitude is great. Your future depends on your aspirations examining exams. Our duties you take and balance is good and our duties. Certificates of participation in digital form were provided to students who took part. During the event, tens of thousands, tens of thousands of students engaged in conversation with the Prime Minister. A live stream of the event was broadcast and distributed to education institutions all throughout India and the rest of the world. Several students asked the PM questions regarding how to deal with the stress of having exam and he answered their questions. A significant number of students engaged in conversation with the Prime Minister via video calls. Nearly two hours were given to two hours were given for the presentation. Students who prepared the program to perform the program were met with warm clapping from the Prime Minister. It is likely that the Pariksha Pe Charcha will happen in January 2023. Those students who wish to participate were enrolled and have enrolled themselves till 20 December 2022. Till 20 December 2022. In order to discuss and reduce exam related stress so that he can enjoy life as an Utsar, Prime Minister Narendra Modi created a special interactive platform called Pariksha Pe Charcha that allows students, parents and instructors from all around the nation and from worldwide to communicate with him. The Department of School Education and Literacy of the Ministry of Education has successfully organized this event for the past four years. For the past four years, the Indian Prime Minister talks with kids, teachers and families from all over the nation at the program and offers his useful advice on how to study without stress and energy, energy, energy team for the both and for many different entrance exams. The Pariksha Pe Charcha is expected to take place in January 2023. Students who are in classes 9 to 12 and who would like the opportunity to pass, participate in an interactive program with PM will have to register for a writing contest that is now being held on a variety of subjects. Students can sign up for the writing contest on the official website. Thank you. Namaskar, my name is Sandhya Sharma. Hai. मैं ऑक्सफोर्ड ग्लोबल की टीचर बोल रही हूं मैं माननीय प्रधान प्रधानमंत्री को मेरा धन्यवाद जिन्होंने परीक्षा पे चर्चा 
जैसे प्रोग्राम का आयोजित किया उनके इस प्रोग्राम से बहुत सारे बच्चों को शिक्षकों को और माँ पेरेंट्स को काफ़ी प्रोत्साहन मिला और उनको काफ़ी जानकारी मिली बच्चों ने भी अपने जो भी प्रॉब्लम्स थे एग्ज़ाम से रिलेटेड प्रधानमंत्री के साथ डिस्कस किए और हमारे देश के प्रधानमंत्री ने भी उनके हर एक प्रॉब्लम को बहुत ही सरलता से और बहुत ही अच्छी तरह से बच्चों को समझाया ये परीक्षा पर चर्चा ऐसे ही कंटिन्यू रहे ताकि बच्चे जो भी अपने प्रॉब्लम्स हैं उनके जो भी एग्ज़ाम से रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम्स हैं जैसे कि बच्चों ने पूछा था कि वो पढ़ते तो हैं लेकिन भूल जाते हैं कई कई बच्चों का ये क्वेश्चन था कि हम परीक्षा में लिखते समय हमें याद नहीं आता तो इस तरह के जो भी क्वेश्चन थे उन्होंने बहुत अच्छी तरह से जवाब दिया और ये हमेशा इस प्रोग्राम को कंटिन्यू रखे ताकि आगे वाले आने वाले जनरेशन को भी बच्चों को इससे लाभ हो और वो भी अपने विचारों को प्रधानमंत्री के साथ व्यक्त कर सके नमो नमः अहम विशाखा हेमंत गौरकर नांदेड़वासी अस्मि नांदेड़ मध्ये नांदेड़ जनपदे अहम ऑक्सफर्ड की ग्लोबल पाठशालायाम संस्कृत अध्यापिकाया कार्यम कुर्वती अस्मि नमो नमः भारत देशस्य प्रधानमंत्री नहा माननीय नरेंद्र मोदी महोदया नाम परीक्षे पे चर्चा एष सुंदर विषय एक विषय मान्यवरा मोदी महोदया बहुवार स्वत प्रकटित सत्यम छात्राण मनसी के विचारा सी तेषा विचाराण पर्याया के सी इति विषये यदि चिंतन भवती चे निश्चय तस् भारत देश लाभ एव भविष्य छात्रा परीक्षा यदा भविष्य तदा एव चिंतनमग्ना अतः तेषा लेखन कार्य वेखन पद्धति तवदी उत्तम न भवति अतः छात्राण मनसी परीक्षाया या भीति अस्त सा भीति कथम गच्छे कृते यदि चिंतन भविष्य चेत निश्चय तस्पी लाभ छात्राण भविष्य महोदय माननीय पंप्रधान महोदय एवं वदन्ति यद अभ्यास केवल गुण गुण से कृते न भवित अर्थ अस्माक ये संस्कार सी अस्माक शैक्षणिक पद्धति अस्त यदि तस्य स्वीकरण यदि भविष्य चेत निश्चय तस्पी लाभ भविष्य शैक्षणिक पद्धत यतन अपेक्षित तदपि परिवर्तन माननीय पंप्रधान महोदय तस्पी लाभ निश्चय भविष्य संस्कृत भाषा सर्वभाषाण जननी अस्त केवल वाक्य 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 कृते उक्ति मर्यादिता न भवे एक प्रयास पंप्रधान महोदय वारं वार कुरी स्वभाषण संस्कृत उक्त प्रयोग कृत्वा ते वारं वार दर्शयी यद संस्कृत भाषा अस्माक मूला भाषा अस्त प्रथमा भाषा अस्त आद्या भाषा अस्त तरी एक भाषाया कृते यदि वयम् चिंतन कुरम भाषाया भाषाया अधिक प्रमाण छात्रा स्वीकरण कुरिया तथा च संस्कृत भाषा स्वीकृत तेजे जीवन अभी यार्य अपेक्षित तत्म ते कुरु कर्म शक्नु एक यदि महोदय इतना चिंतन कुरी तेषा कृते संस्कृत छात्राण यदि ते अवसर दास्यति चेत निश्चय इतना संस्कृत छात्राण संख्या वर्धिष्य नास्ति संशय अतः अहम महोदया प्रार्थयाम यद संस्कृत भाषाया प्रगते कृते ते कार्य कुरी एव कि इतनी यदि कार्यवर्धन भविष्य चेत निश्चय भारत देश क्रमक अत्युग्र अत्युग्र अत्युच्च स्थाने भविष्य अत्र नास्ति संशय नमो नम नमस्कार मी सिद्धार्थ धुतराज ऑक्सफर्ड द ग्लोबल स्कूल निरा रोड नांदेड़ 
एक पालक व शिक्षक या नात्याने मी प्रजासत्ताक भारताच्या इतिहासातील कुशल नेतृत्व असलेले भारताचे लोकप्रिय पंतप्रधान माननीय नरेंद्रजी मोदी यांनी सुरू केलेल्या परीक्षे पे चर्चा या मोहिमेचे प्रथमत मी स्वागत करतो व त्यांचं खूप खूप अभिनंदन करतो असं म्हणतात हसणाऱ्यांनी हसावं रुसणाऱ्यांनी रुसावं बघणाऱ्यांनी बघावं लाजणाऱ्यांनी लाजावं मारणाऱ्यांनी मारावं आणि जगणाऱ्यांनी जगावं परंतु यशापुढे सर्वांनी हरावं कारण यश मिळवायचं असेल तर प्रत्येक पावलावर परीक्षा ही प्रत्येकांना द्यावी लागते विद्यार्थी जीवनामध्ये परीक्षेला सामोरे जाताना पेपर कसा असेल सर्व प्रश्नांची उत्तरे व्यवस्थित लिहिता येतील का वेळ पुरेल का पेपर सोपा असेल का पेपर अवघड तर नसेल अशा अनेक प्रश्नांचं भूत हे विद्यार्थ्यांच्या मनावरती असतं आणि हे बेताडूपी प्रश्नांचं ओझ हे मुलांच्या अंगावरती नसावं या उद्देशाने विद्यार्थ्यांच्या प्रत्येक प्रश्नांची उत्तरे माननीय नरेंद्रजी मोदी यांनी दिली परीक्षा द्या परीक्षांना सामोरं जा परीक्षेचं भूत मनावर बसू नका परीक्षेची भीती मनामध्ये बाळगू नका परीक्षा हे एक उत्सवाप्रमाणे साजरी करा टेक्नॉलॉजी हा एक शाप नव्हे स्वतःवरती विश्वास ठेवा आपल्या पाल्यांवरती विश्वास ठेवा ओके परीक्षा एक जीवन का हिस्सा बने तणाव न बने हा जो शुभ संदेश नरेंद्रजी मोदी यांनी सर्व पालकांना सर्व विद्यार्थ्यांना दिला आहे त्यांचे खूप खूप आभार आणि अभिनंदन धन्यवाद